Welcome to Eco Ask Why. Today we are interviewing our dad, Chris Granger. Oh, here we go. This ought to be interesting. So this is the episode that we've been building up to for from our holidays with our heroes, guys. So I've been telling everybody on each holiday with our hero episode that on this day, a special interview is going to come out. And now they're seeing what it is. So I'm not sure what I got myself into, but uh, we'll see. So a hero episode being interviewed by my two daughters, Chloe and Ava. I blame Miss Andy. I think this is her fault, but uh, we're going to go with this. So let's let's see what you got. So you guys, you're the host. Thank you. So you can fire away. And hopefully I won't turn too, too red here. So we're sitting in our house in our living room for those on YouTube. So checking this out. So what you guys got? What are you going to talk about today? So I am Chloe and um, Ava's going to start the questions. She's going to kick us off today. Okay. So welcome. Um, but can you please tell me about your journey to the role you are in now? My journey to the role that I'm in now? Yes. Please. Well, it's been interesting. So there I was. You know, I like to start stories like that. Yes. It's almost like you say, therefore, just keep talking. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So it's been interesting. So, and, you know, I went to high school at Bluestone. You guys mm -hmm. know that. Yeah. Where did I go to school at? You went to ODU. ODU, which is where? Do you even know where ODU is? ODU is Old Dominion. But... Virginia. Where at Virginia? No idea where you were born. <laughs> so I was not born at ODU. It's actually in Norfolk, which is right at the at a big Navy base. It's where I went to school at. Oh, I remember that now. Yeah. So ODU was there. So we went to engineering school at ODU. And actually, then I did an internship at ECO, which you know ECO, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where I've been since college. I actually got to work at ECO for Mr. Jeff, because you guys remember Mr. Jeff, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Mr. Jeff got me into ECO, and then from there... Had a bunch of different roles, ran South Hill, where you were born, South mm -hmm. Hill, and then went to Richmond, went to Raleigh, was over Georgia, so just a bunch of different fun stuff, doing the motor stuff. You guys remember when I used to do the motor stuff? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty fun, huh? Mm-hmm. Because you meant, I think you both have been to the Raleigh shop. Yeah. yeah. And then now, a year, about two years ago, when we got out to shops, came over to where I'm at now, and then we started this wonderful podcast where I get to work with Mr. Adam and Miss Andy, and we do we interview all these awesome people. And us. And y'all, and you guys love listening to the hero episodes when you get the chance to listen to them, so I know you like the uh, <clears throat> you like the women in engineering series. You guys remember a lot of those, right? Yeah, uh -huh. I, I remember Mavens in Manufacturing. <laughs> the Mavens in Manufacturing, yep, I was on that one, and she's going to be on our show, so yeah. So that's kind of where we're at. So it just the, the journey's been interesting for sure. Okay. All right. So what else you got? So what do you see as some of the greatest challenges industry has in the future? The greatest challenges that industry has, huh? Mm -hmm. That's huh. a pretty huh. big question. It's an important question, right? Mm -hmm. I think one of the biggest challenges is getting people to actually come to it and want to work in it. Right. There's a lot of people you guys ever, you know what the word retirement means? Um, it's where you have a job, but then you retire because either you're old or you don't want to work anymore. Right. One of the two, right? Isn't that if you don't want to work quitting? Well, no, because you could just retire. You could just, you could be financially secure enough where you could just retire and go do your own thing. So that's happening in a lot of these manufacturing plants that we support. And the biggest concern I see is, who's going to take those next jobs, right? And we need more to, to be making more stuff in America. You know, we, we buy a lot of stuff from the different countries, which is cool. But when we make, when you buy stuff locally, right? Like when we go to a farmer's market or something like that, you're buying here. So that's the biggest thing. We got to get people like, you know, your age to understand because you got your middle school, your elementary school, as you get older, knowing that there's other things out there versus just a traditional college, right? I mean, you could do a Votech. You can learn a skill. I know you want to be like a cook one day, right? So you, a doctor. Or a doctor. Well, that's a, different, that's a different path there. So there's all sorts of things you could do. But I think we just need to be trying to make sure people know what opportunities exist, right? So yeah. that's a big challenge that I see. Mm -hmm. 
for industry and trying to, you know, there's a lady named Ashley Walton Walters, and she takes her sons to manufacturing plants. She took them to a place that makes uh, baseball bats. That's cool. Isn't that cool? And so she's doing stuff like that to kind of show her sons what they can do, what, what, what opportunities exist. So it's, you know, it's just being intentional about doing stuff like that. So yeah. that'd be my answer. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty big answer. <laughs> All right. What's your next question? Um, I actually have the next one. What advice would you give those wanting to pursue a career in industry? So advice. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have a lot of advice. I have a lot of dadisms, but I'll, I guess I'll leave those for another podcast. Don't do all, just a few. <laughs> just a few? Okay. All right, just a few. And not dadisms, I guess. Not dadisms. Do okay. one at dadism. <laughs> okay. So I guess some advice I'd have for young people is don't put your stuff in a box, right? Explore things because there's all there's a big world out there. You know, we just live in a small part of North Carolina. Okay, but there's a big world out there that, you know, that may interest you. So there's all sorts of ways to just really start exploring things, asking questions. I'm really big on networking. Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. What do you think networking is? That networking. So what does it mean? You're working with nets. No, no, not working with nets. That's a good question, though. That's, a, that's I can see how you went there. Networking means getting to know people. Okay. So, you know, we go to church or you go to school, you meet all these different people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All these people know people. Yeah. And all those people know people. Yeah. So what you're trying like to community. do. Like a community. Like a community. Exactly. So what you're trying to do, if I'm your age and I'm trying to, to start working or start thinking about what I want to do in my life, I want to start called networking with a, exactly like you said, a community of people because you never know what you'll learn from other people, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when we started podcasting, I started networking with different podcasters because I wanted to learn from them on how they do stuff, right? When I started doing financial stuff, I started networking there as well because we were, really want to understand, you know, what other people can offer. So I think that's a big thing. It's just networking, right? So we talked about the importance of networking, right? And what's important there and trying new things. Don't paint yourself in a box because Here's the thing, guys. You're not at your age. You have a whole lot of experiences that could be in front of you and that you can learn from there, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So what do you, what's something you enjoy doing right now, Chloe? Uh, Chloe first. Uh, hmm. Playing with little kids. Playing with little kids. Well, that could lead you down a path of teaching, right? Maybe one day. How about you, Ava? What do you enjoy doing? Um basketball and volleyball right now right so you could potentially work down a basketball path or volleyball path and maybe if it doesn't work as a player you could work as a coach and maybe a teacher or something like that maybe even work for a manufacturer who makes basketballs right there's all sorts of things you could do there so but you start i think it starts somebody once said you know if you if you follow what you're passionate about you're not really working right because you love it so you just need to find what's what's important to you both of you and then start pursuing that. But don't feel like that's just the only path you have to be on because that may take you over here, right? Yeah. You asked me 20 years ago if we had a podcast, I'd be like, what? You know, what are we talking about? All right. I mean, here we are with the podcast. So, Ava, what's your next question? What would be a highlight of your career that you want to share? A highlight? Hmm. Well, I've had some pretty cool things happen. We actually did some big motors back in the motor shop days. And... Some of those were so big, you could stand inside them and put your arms out like this, and you couldn't touch the tops of them. It was pretty cool. And they would actually take, the way they would take and like get clean these things, you ever seen like a uh, pressure pressure gun to like yeah. pressure wash stuff, like, you know, when you do the deck or something like that? Mm -hmm. They would take this, and guess what was coming out of it? Water? No. Sand. And it was sandblasted come out of it and that would actually that's how you got a lot of this stuff out the the what's called the coils out of it so we did some pretty cool projects like that they were pretty fun yeah mm -hmm. so no it's a random daughter question random but, daughter question love it love it <laughs> what's your favorite color and what made that your favorite color my favorite color i like green you know 
it's just always been a favorite. Like my my eyes are green. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. Maybe it's just because I looked in the mirror, I, green was kind of cool looking. <laughs> so plus money's green, so there's that too. So I'd say, what's your favorite color? Uh, blue or black. Blue or black. How about you, Ava? What's your favorite color? I would say mine is a pretty sunset orange and yellow with a mix of pink. So you okay? That's a very. A I got sunset. you. Just a sunset color. Okay. I have a question. Okay. I just so happen to have a humongous trophy on me. No reason. Um, <laughs> perhaps you had a hobby. A hobby. And a sport you like to play. Well, I played a lot of baseball growing up. Oh, no, I couldn't tell. <laughs> you couldn't tell? Nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I played baseball from when I was probably four years old till I was in my early 20s. Yeah, this says that this is the... You don't have to say the year. <laughs> Bluestone Senior High School Baseball Best Defense. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that was the best defensive trophy I got in high school. So, yep, played a lot of baseball. Didn't really have football or anything like that or soccer where we grew up in Clarksville at Popeye and Gigi's. But, uh, yeah, played a lot of baseball. So that was a lot of fun. Got a lot of trophies. Now you guys got the trophies in your rooms. Oh <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> okay. We Ava has hers in her room in, like, um, size order. Right, so she, she has them. In, from smallest to largest. Got it. Who's next? Um, I guess I will go next um, with question number eight. What is a hobby that you have? Why did you choose that hobby? A hobby? I have lots of hobbies, right? I've got an idea. Well, what, what do you think my hobbies are? Um, I would think you Money! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your hobby is like a mix of basketball and baseball because you know you played baseball for a while um, and you were really good at it. We can tell you got like 13 million trophies. Okay. Um, and I'm sure it's basketball too because you're really good and you you were my basketball coach for two years. Right. Um, uh, and you're just really good at basketball and baseball. So I think that's your hobby. That's some hobbies you think. What about you? You might be wondering why I just screamed, money! Right. I screamed it because you, um, you, you have like a, a website kind of thing. A website kind of thing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's called SMG. Right. 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 And what, what do you do with? on it? Well, I try to help people make good decisions with, with their money and try to, you know, help them achieve their goals, right? So, like, you guys have goals of what? Having a car one day, maybe having a, phone. having a phone one day, going to college trade. or doing a learning a trade, all that stuff costs what? Money. Money That's that it. I have. <laughs> Which you're gonna have. So I'll try to help people because you have to plan that stuff, right? Because mm -hmm. there's what what do we not like when it comes to money? Um you debt. Like debt. There you go, girl. So you're learning that that very early. So we don't like debt. So I try to help people. Figure out ways to get out of debt, make debt, better decisions, and things like that. That could get you into really bad, like trouble with your money. That's how you can lose it. Yeah, you've learned well. It's you like a loan. Learn almost. well, huh? Yeah, it's almost like money you earn. Um, um, you that you need to give someone like a loan. Right, you don't want loans. Right, loans um, are bad. There's there's all sorts of badness that can happen with money. So that's one. You guys know I like. Uh, exercising, running, things like that. That's fun. I like get to take y'all running. I like mm -hmm. camping. Oh, yes. When we get to go camping, kayaking. We I do like a lot of that together, camp. right? Mm -hmm. So stuff like that. Plus just hanging out with y'all. Some of my favorite hobbies is just kind of being at home with the family and with with uh, Becca and Lily and everybody's here. And it's just, you know, look, to me, that's the fun stuff. And then we do a lot with the church, right? So serving in all different areas there. But uh, that's the big thing. And then trying to, raise uh some some awesome girls that want to uh do some great things in the world mm -hmm. I've, I've got a off script question so okay. a, a little birdie told me that you passed out in front of your teacher once <laughs> why would you be bringing that up and then another little birdie told me that somehow you got a milkshake and a new pair of cleats on a baseball field how did that happen yeah well i passed out in front of my teacher 
when I was in third grade because my brother had chicken pox. I didn't. And so when I went to school, apparently I had chicken pox too, but I didn't realize it. And somehow it affected me where I just got really lightheaded. And I just went up to the teacher's desk and I said, I'm not feeling so. And that's all I got out. <laughs> so I hit the deck. I uh, woke up and think it was things, you know, Gigi was there taking care of me. But the, the sneakers, the cleats mm -hmm. and the, the milkshake. So we, I was playing baseball. And with, with Papa, and we were practicing for games. And back then, you, we just didn't always wear a helmet. So always wear your helmets. Remember that. So I wasn't wearing a helmet, batting, and we were, we were playing a really good pitcher that night. So Papa was throwing them kind of hard, right, to try to get, get my timing down. And apparently one of them got loose when he let it go. And next thing I know, I'm, I, I look up and I'm in the dugout. <laughs> Because I had knocked me out at home plate. So I got home and uh, I took a nap. And when I woke up, Papa felt so bad. <laughs> there was a brand new set of cleats sitting at the foot of my bed and a brand new milkshake from the local Dairy Queen. So the whole joke was always, if you need cleats or a milkshake, just get knocked out by a baseball and you get it. So there you go. I'm going to have to call, have Papa on speed dial. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You just got to be careful with that goosey. Yeah, Papa's really funny and sweet. He's pretty funny and sweet. That's right. So, so what's your next question? Hmm. This is very interesting. So I it's think funny, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to ask this question. Okay. So who has been a great mentor for you in your career and why? A great mentor, couple. So the first one I just mentioned, Papa. So which I is could, I could see that. which is my dad, I mean, right? I've been a good mentor. So he's been a good mentor. He's got I mean, I've been able to bounce stuff off him. He's always been there. He's kind of been the dad, the role model dad that I wanted to be for you guys and Lily, because he's just always you know that stead that that strong leader of the house. He t I always saw that growing up. So that's why I try to be here with you guys. So Papa would be probably number one. Number two would be Mr. Jeff. You know you guys hear me talk about him a lot cause just because. When you when things are going good or when things are going really really bad, he's always been there, mm -hmm. right? So I've always felt like he can, he's somebody who I could take advice, you know, go to, and he would give me like real advice, not sugarcoated like, oh, it's gonna be okay, like truth, right? So I think those two mentors jump out, and that's the biggest thing I would say for you ladies is when you start looking for mentors. Hopefully, I check that box. But as you start looking for other mentors, make sure that they actually are trying to give you solid advice for your life, right? So, any mentors you got right now? Um, right now, I kind of have you and Becca. Right. Um, and of course, I have my grandparents, um, right. Gigi, Papa, and Grandma and Grandpa. Awesome. How about you, Chloe? My math teacher. Your math teacher? Okay. What's her name? Miss Gunther. Miss Gunther, she's been a mentor. She's trying to help you. Somebody you feel like you can trust and help you and um, helping you stuff. Okay. What's the next question? Who's uh, up? I have a out of order question, kind of. Uh, out of order question. Out of order. <laughs> okay. Kind of what order. is it? Um, if you would go hunting, who would you go with, and what would you hunt for? If I was to go hunting, um, I would take you guys if you want it. Mm -hmm. Chloe definitely wants to go. Camouflage right, overalls. You have those camouflage overalls, so we're good to go. And what would I hunt for? Is that what you asked? Yep. Probably a turkey or a deer. Something we would eat. A big you know, fat deer. A big fat deer. <laughs> Something like that, probably. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Some deer pudding. Some, some deer. deer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's next? Um, let's see. What's your question, Chloe? What is your favorite adult beverage? <laughs> I want to say that the whole uh, time. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow, turkey. Adult beverage, huh? I, I like an old fashioned from time to time. So they're pretty good. So what's your. Are we. My favorite adult beverage is nothing because I'm not an adult. <laughs> That's right, because you're not an adult. Next question. Um. So. If you would have ice cream, what is your favorite ice cream place? It can be anywhere. It doesn't need to be in North America because um, <laughs> um, it can't. 
Okay. <laughs> it's probably going to be in North America, but it can be somewhere like... Favorite North ice cream America. place? Yeah, favorite ice cream place and favorite ice cream at that place. Or Ooh, now you made it difficult. Or what, what, uh, whatever your favorite ice cream is. Okay. Favorite ice cream place is Dairy easy. Queen. Nope. Squigglies. <gasps> yes. Yes. Squigglies. Come on. Squigglies in Carolina Beach. <laughs> and then you have to just... I like to just get squiggled. That's the stuff they make. And then whatever for, it can go in. It can be fruit, chocolate, probably some fruit and chocolate, right? M&M's. Got to have it. It's got to have M&M's. That's right. So that would be probably the best place and the best ice cream. How about favorite candy since you brought it up? M&M's with peanuts. Got to have peanuts. What about yours? Um, Probably same thing. Same thing. What about you, Ava? Favorite candy? Um, I would say anything along the lines of butterscotch and milk chocolate. Okay. It's <laughs> pretty <laughs> random. All right. Next. Um, um, <laughs> what made um, you want to do this podcast? Oh, good question. I didn't think you were going to go throw that one out. You know, I was actually, it was a kind of a weird part of my life because we had just shut the shops down. If you guys remember, when we got out of the shop business, Daddy was a little sad, right? Yeah. Because that was that was kind of like my family, you know. We lo- and then all of a sudden they were gone, and I had to figure out what to do next. And that was kind of a sad time. So I started listening to podcasts, and I just had this idea. Just God gave me this idea. I said, "Hey, try this." So I made put the stuff together. And pitched it to Mr. Adam. Actually, he was one of the first people I talked to about it. He had just come to work for Eco. He hadn't been working here long. And got in front of, a, of my boss and Mr. Jeff. And they, they, I remember like yesterday, we were like, do you think you could do this? And I said, well, I don't know, but I'd like to try. You know, and I, I had a pretty good plan. And being an engineering background, I had a process, right? We kind of mapped out a process and Mr. Adam helped me. And, and then we just took off. And we did, and we did it right before COVID happened. So we bought all the equipment, did two or three recordings, then COVID hit. But we were lucky because we were able to bring in the studio and make it into my home studio, right? Just mm-hmm. take it from there. So and then we've added Miss Andy to the team, and it's just been kind of cool. Yep. At Eco, we are one big family, and we love learning about our heroes' families. Please share with us what you can about your family. Our family. So we have... Awesome. My beautiful bride, Rebecca, and then you two knuckleheads, and then Lily, and she joined us in August, two days after your birthday. So that's that's the family. And then Papa and Gigi and Grandma and Grandpa and all the, the rest of the family, but that's 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 the core for sure. Mm-hmm. So what's uh Faith. And we have Miss Faith, that's right, who we'll meet again one day. She's right so there. So she's right there. That's right. Are there any podcasts that you like? Oh, yes. I like a lot of podcasts. So I don't listen to that many like industrial type podcasts because, you know, we we push out two episodes a week and there's stuff like that. But Unashamed, I love that podcast. That That's a great podcast I listen to. There's a podcast called Undaunted Life that I love. Um, there's a podcast I like called The Order of Man. It's really good. The briefing, listen to that every day. Um, so, yeah, Smart Passive Income, great podcast. Ooh, Investing for Beginners is a cool podcast. I've actually been on that podcast. So it's a pretty cool one where... Maven's of Manufacturing, isn't that a podcast? Well, Maven's of Manufacturing is a good show. It's more of a show. She does a lot of stuff on YouTube. but So they were to be like the main podcast I listen to, but really big on, on those in particular because they're just, they're a lot of fun and they drop a lot. So... Yep, they're my favorite podcast. I could see if you end up doing somebody in that podcast. Oh, which one? Maybe it's a manufacturing. Yeah. Could be. My, my, my dream one day is to be either have one of the Robertsons on my podcast or be on their podcast on Unashamed. <laughs> that's just like, if you want to know what one of Daddy's dreams are, that's that's a dream. It's just That would be really cool. Um, you I should interview them. I should interview them. I want to interview them. That'd be cool. Maybe you should put in a plug for me and maybe they'll they'll let me interview them, you know? So my second one is if you want somebody in Duck Dynasty to be on your podcast or you be on theirs, uh-huh. if somebody, one of the Robinsons would be on your podcast, uh-huh. 
who, which one of them would you want? Would you like, would you want a couple of them or just one of them? But oh. I need a specific name. You want a specific name? I would love to talk to Phil. And Jace. Or Jace or Al. So I'm not really picky. You can actually have all three. Well, all three would be a touchdown, baby. That would be a touchdown. If you want to do that. That's right. All three of them. Yep. Only one would be um, a field but goal. But what if they... <laughs> <laughs> one would be a field goal. Um, three would be a touchdown. If they invited you to be in their podcast, would you like bring a really close friend to join you? You'd bring that me. Is like, <laughs> that's like... That likes Duck Dynasty. Would you bring a close friend that likes Duck Dynasty to the interview? That I would probably take me. Uh, maybe take you. Take you know, me. I would... Pick me. <laughs> he can take us. Well, I may want to take Rebecca. I'm desperate. Me. You know. Well, here's the thing. I'm it, a growing child. It, I may never see them. Well, you never know. So I mean, we could have fun now. And make the main thing is just have some fun with it. But I wouldn't say it had to be anybody. But You're it, taking me. I think, okay, so Chloe's lobbied pretty hard for this one. So I'm just going to say Chloe. You know, we'll take Chloe and do it. You'll be on my right. You, Chloe's on my left side. You'll be on my right. And then Lily, well then Lily will be on my shoulders. There you go. <laughs> but my, Where's Becca going? She's going to be right there with us. So this will be a family event. We're, we're, the, the Grangers are going to meet the Robertsons. There you go. <laughs> but what okay. if that never happens? Why would you be? All right, right. So what's your next question? Um, so if you had a favorite restaurant, what would it be? It's always. Favorite Art. restaurant? Art. Yeah. Hmm. A favorite restaurant? It can be your favorite beverage at that restaurant. I like Don Julio's. It's a Mexican restaurant here in Wake Forest. So that's kind of, I like going Mexican. How about you? Is that your favorite, favorite restaurant? Uh, I'm asking for favorites. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Um, I like the Mac House. <laughs> the Mac House? Mac and cheese. I need it. So, Dad, I remember. My favorite restaurant isn't Micaiah's. You pranked me. <laughs> Mikasa. Mikasa. Mikasa means house. <laughs> he pranked me. Because you wanted to go to a special restaurant. So I said we could go to Mikasa. And then you said, what do you eat there? We I said, give me up- anything that you want. We ended up going to Don Julio's. <laughs> Thank for the lead. Thank you, Jesus. And she, and she asked, can you watch movies? And we said, yeah. yeah me, said, at Mikasa, they have movies? everything. So there you go. What happens we have at Full Wheelers? No. <laughs> full Wheelers. What about Full Wheelers? Uh, do we have them? <laughs> no, we do not have Full Wheelers. <laughs> so we don't have everything. <laughs> we don't have everything. All right, what's the next question? We're drifting. What's the next question? Uh, uh, what's um, your favorite guilty pleasure? Oh, uh, M&M's. Peanut M Ms. Oh, um, I have a question. <laughs> this actually made me think of a question since we were just talking about restaurants. Right. What would your favorite food be? I know it's probably sushi, but I might be wrong. Do you think it's sushi? Yes. yes. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. Sushi's awesome. Either sushi or salmon. So actually for the favorite restaurant thing, then it'd probably be like Bento Box or something down in Wilmington, that sushi place. But like favorite restaurant here, probably Mexican place. Huh. Down Julio's. What is your favorite pet? Pet? In this house. <laughs> In this house? Probably Maddox, our giant schnauzer. Mm-hmm. He's my favorite. Yeah. He's pretty cool. So if you have a favorite vacation place, what yep. would that place be? Beach. Oh, probably Hawaii. When we went to Maui, that place was amazing. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Loved it. I want to take you guys there one day. Oh, so save up all your F and G money, maybe we have a chance. <laughs> That's um right. we're getting on third class. So what's your favorite music? I know it's probably country. Favorite music? Uh I mean I liked a lot of Southern rock growing up and things like that, but I'm starting to listen. I don't know. Like third day, I've been on a third day kick lately, even though they don't tour anymore. It's just, you know, Christian mm-hmm. type music. Yep. So I know you like Freebird music. What's your favorite song on Freebird? Well, Freebird is a song. Yeah. So you're talking about Leonard Skinner? The band. Yeah. Right, the band. Yeah. So I would say the favorite song of all time has to be Simple Man. So there's there's that one. What's your second question? I know this might be a hard, que- hard question since you love reading a bunch of types of books. Uh, so uh, what would your favorite be? My favorite book. Could it be like different types of books like the Chosen Interactive Study? <laughs> Well, I think just my favorite book, period, 
the Bible. That's it. And then the rest of the stuff definitely helps. I mean, I, I'm a big reader. You got, I like military stuff, you know, things that, that just teaches you different skills, you know. So I'm always, you know me, I'm always reading. I think Amazon brings a book here every week, it feels like. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, but yeah, can't go wrong with the Bible. You got to start there. So, um, oh, um, what would your favorite movie be? Ooh, I don't know. There's a bunch. That's a good question. I'm thinking like Ghostbusters because um, that makes me think of a kid when I was growing up. That was always a favorite movie as a kid. Just go something silly like that. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. I'm not gonna say it because there's a bunch of them, but like, I just said Marvel. The Marvel movies. Okay, how about you? Could it be shows? No movie. I don't have one then. Okay. All right. Um, What's your favorite show? So Andy Griffith show. I knew it. <laughs> So, I like the Doogie episodes. Um, right. In your childhood, what would be, what would be your, your place? In your childhood, what would be your favorite memory? My favorite memory from my childhood. Darn, Ava, you're bringing some deep questions. You have a future as a podcast host. None of them is off of this paper. I know, That's girl. I mean, you are just slinging it. So, favorite memory from a childhood. Would probably be, you know, we. I had a birthday party when I was think I turned seven. Have you told us this one? And well, I mean, just the cool part was Papa had just built this playhouse in the backyard. <gasps> oh, I and see then that. we had a little four wheeler, like a little Honda seventy four wheeler. Uh-huh. And I had a bunch of my buddies come over, and we played like cowboys and Indians, and rode the four wheeler, and played baseball. And I just I remember that party. Uh, very fondly. So that that was pretty cool. What's cowboys mm-hmm. and Indians? It's where you want somebody pretends to be a cowboy and somebody pretends to be an Indian, and you just kind of just play with each other. Cool. So I have yep. two questions that okay. are, that they are alike, but they're different in a way. So I'm gonna go with my first one. Okay. I know you probably liked your childhood birthdays. What would your favorite childhood birthday be? My favorite childhood birthday. Mm-hmm. What would it be? Uh, all of them. Ex- all of them except my 10th one. What, what happened? I, I broke down crying because I turned double digits. I remember that. <laughs> so I told Gigi, I was like, I've turned double digits. There's no going back. And it was like this just dramatic event of turning 10. So it was, I remember that one. Uh, <laughs> so, um, your eight, your tenth birthday doesn't mean this one, because I'm, I'm sure it will say I'm sorry you turned ten. Right. But, um, what was your favorite cake out of all of these birthdays you had in your childhood? <laughs> Gigi is a pretty good cook. So yeah, there was a lot of good ones. The one I remember the most, there was. A few. Um, you can do three of your. Favorites. I'm just gonna do one. There was a pit. You guys know The Rock. Yeah. Right. So he used to be a wrestler Dwayne before he Johnson. turned into an actor, and. For, I was a big rock fan. So we had this picture of the rock, but his eyebrow was like, he used to do his eyebrow thing and pick it up. And his eyebrow was like really jacked up. So I remember that birthday cake. That was kind of funny. <laughs> what kind of flavor Did was it? it? I don't remember the flavor, but it was it was funny. So um, when you went to get um, Christmas trees and y'all took the four wheelers. Yeah. What, how was that? That was cool. We had four wheelers. And back, back then, when you live in a country like that, you could just drive out. Take a four-wheeler ride out in the woods and find you a tree. So we, I remember we did that a couple of times. I just thought that was super cool as a kid to be able to go find your tree, cut it, bring it back, and things like that. I so. know this might be a little tough of an answer since it's happened a lot, but what was your best date? My best date? Probably my very first one with Becca. That was my best one. We, were, we went to Applebee's. It was the <gasps> most awkward meal of my life and her life. But then we decided to go to a park, and we ended up talking for four hours after that. And then that's when I knew. So that was probably my best date. Fancy like Applebee's. Yep. <laughs> Fancy like Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right. So I got. we're going to wrap this up with me asking you guys a couple questions, Okay. When you st- start thinking about science and math, right? Does it get you excited? What gets you excited about it? Puzzles. Puzzles. Why? Trying to figure out how it all works together. Mm-hmm. How about science for you, Ava? 
Do you enjoy science class or math class? Kind of. Okay. Just the discovery part of it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the big thing. Is this thing called STEM? I mean, that's science. Science, technology, engineering, math. There you go. So those types of classes are really important because as you, you know, grow up and, and get older, you'll need to know some of those things. No matter if you try to be a cook or if you want to be a business person or if you want to work in manufacturing, you need to know all these different types of math and science and technology and things like that, right? Okay, Chloe, you got the last question of the, the dad interview. What is it? What is your personal why? My and speak your passion. Please, <laughs> tell me passion. everything. <laughs> my personal why? Serve others. Because if you serve others and you take care of other people and you don't be inwardly focused, you got to deny yourself and just really concentrate on making an impact in other people's lives. That's what's going to take you places. And that's when you never know what God's going to bless you with. So you can't be, it can't be about you. This has got to be about serving others, you know, loving on others, and trying to, to help people. So that's that's my personal why. That's what I try to do with you guys every day is, is you know, serve you, take care of you, teach you, because I want you to be good humans that help people, right? And that's I think that's, for me, it all comes down to servant leadership. So this has been fun. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. Oh, right. did you learn something about your dad today that you didn't know? That you like fainting. <laughs> I like fainting. That's right. Oh, and one last story before we go. Right. Uh, could you tell us about the time your brother blew, blew up the TV? We'll save that one for another time. So this has been fun, though. So I've, I've really got to know you guys. Not know you guys. I really enjoyed talking through this with you guys. I think you were the best host for this episode. So for this episode of Eco Ask Why, I know this is a little different, a little off the cuff. Uh, we were all over the place. Chloe and Ava did a great job. So, you know, thank you for taking the time. You guys are all my heroes. So it's kind of cool to be the host and get to talk to all these different heroes out there. So, again, if you like this stuff, please do us a favor. Give us that five-star rating. Give us a review. That really makes a big difference. And you got to remember, keep asking why.